was like, I smoked only three times. Bruh, I, meh, meh, meh. Dude, she hit me so hard. And like, there was hair all over her face. She looked like she was like a goddamn possessed. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My bad, I haven't been really posting this week. A whole bunch of plans of mine got canceled, so um, yeah, we're gonna be out doing what we were supposed to be doing last week, this week. So this Saturday, we're gonna have a good ass video for y'all. All right, so today we're gonna have a story time. All right, so today I'm gonna be doing a story time. This this is about um when my mom caught me smoking weed in eighth grade. This is probably like one of my favorite stories to tell to people. All right, so um, I was in eighth grade, and I have never smoked weed before. This is my first time smoking weed. I knew of a guy that smoked down the hill. His name was Hector, and I was with one of my boys, Ariel, and I was like, yo, Ariel, let's go smoke some weed. Let's go smoke some weed. And I don't think he was down for it at first, but then like I think I convinced him, and he was like, all right, bet, let's do it. So we go down the hill, we go knock at Hector's house, and we're like, yo, Hector, Let's smoke some weed. And so he like pulls out like this little box of weed. I think it was mid, I'm not gonna lie, but we go to the, the back of his house and um he lights it up and he hits it first. And like my my chest is like this I'm like I'm kinda nervous. I'm like, oh I don't know I don't know how to be high, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh fuck. So then Hector passes me the blunt. And before I even hit it, I go like this. And I take a picture with like my iPod or something. And I thought I was the shit. And I didn't know you had to inhale it. So I'd be going like. I would just spit it right out. And then I passed it to my friend Ariel. And then I took a picture of him. And then. <laughs> and then so after we finished smoking. Um, we will start walking back up the hill towards my house. And um. And I was never high, but I feel like I was pretending like I was high. And I was like, yo, you see that over there? And I think, <laughs> and then Ariel would agree with me. He'd be like, yeah, 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 I see it, dude. Like if we were tripping, but we weren't even high. Because we weren't even inhaling the weed. And so then, um, so later that day, I sent the pictures that I took when I was smoking to my friend Carlos. This is where I fucked up. This is where I fucked up very big. So I sent him the picture, right? And like, fucking two days later, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Like, I didn't get caught. Like, I'm a badass, you know what I'm saying? The next day, I'm at school, taking like a writing exam that you need to pass to go to, I think, to go to high school. And, um, and so yeah, I'm just sitting in class, and I hear, you know, in the intercom, they're like, uh, send Abraham to check out. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm getting checked out. And then, you know, everyone in class just like, lucky. And so, like, I'm, I'm like, um, I'm walking up to the front office, like, with the biggest smile on my face. And I see my mom, and she's like, dead ass serious. But I didn't think of it at that time. And then I go in the front office, and I was like, I told my mom, hey, and she ignored me. So, I, that's when I was just like, okay, what's up? And the moment we step out of school, she like grabs me by my ear and she was like, I'm going to call the cops on you. I was like, Whoa. oh shit, what the fuck did I do? I'm like, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Like my, my heart fucking dropped to my ass. And so we get in the car and like, and like the speed limit over there is like 35. This woman is hitting like 80. She's like, Argh. And like, I was, I, I could have swore I thought I was going to die. She was driving so fast, guys. We get home, and she, like, there was groceries in the back of the car. So she tells me to go, like, um, she tells me to go put the groceries inside. So I run and get the groceries, put them inside. And I go to my room real quick, because I was like, I need to put layers on, because I feel like I'm going to get whooped. And at this point, I didn't know why she was mad, because she didn't tell me yet. But I knew something was coming, so... When I ran to my room, I stuffed like a like 
some shirts and some pants under my um I think I had pants on and then I go back upstairs and she's she yells for my name. She's like, Hey Ram But in Spanish and um she tells me to go to the living room and sit there. And <laughs> so I'm just sitting there like sh yo, I'm shaking like <sighs> I was like, Oh my god, what's going down? And I, I at this point I didn't know like that she knew that I smoked because there was no way of her finding out. And so she comes out her room, goes to the living room with a fucking belt. And then she was like, she like, she has the picture on her phone of me smoking. Like with a selfie, like with a big ass smile on my face. And she passes me the phone to see the picture. <laughs> Guys, I'm not fucking with you. When I saw that picture, my heart went to my balls. I was like, oh, fuck. Like I'm about to get, I'm about to get killed. I'm not, I'm not surviving this day. There's no way. And she was just like, why would you do that? And every time fucking she said a syllable, she would go like, why did you do that? Yo, she was killing me. And then she would be like, and then she was like, how many times did you smoke? And I was like, just one time, just one time. And she would fucking hit me so hard. So I was getting whooped so hard and she kept asking that question. That I was like, I'm gonna change my answer. Maybe if it looks like I'm telling the truth because I changed my answer, then uh, she won't hit me anymore. So I said three times. I was like, I smoked only three times. Bruh, I. Ma, ma, ma. Dude, she hit me so hard. And like, there was hair all over her face. She looked like she was like a goddamn possessed. Yo, she looked like she was possessed. Her hair, like the grudge, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen that movie, The Grudge? Yeah, she had her face and her hair just like, <clears throat> whooping me. Yeah, so, okay. So, after all that whooping, she just starts crying and she goes to her room. And then I just hear her, I hear her, like, yell from, like, her room. Like, I'm going to tell your fucking dad. Yo, my dad, back in the day, was so scary. Like, like if I had a bad grade, I would hide it from that man. But, um, when he came home, he just, he legit just sat down and talked to me. He wasn't even tripping about it. Well, he was tripping about it, but, like, he didn't hit me. Who well, I'm sweating, man. So, all that happened in eighth grade, and I never knew how she found out. So, after all that incident, three years later, Carlos comes up to me. He was like, yo, I showed my mom the picture of you smoking weed, and she told your mom. And he was like, I only told her because I thought you were going to die. Cause you were smoking weed and he only thought that because when i was in eighth grade he was in sixth grade so he he was way younger than me but he was still my friend and uh three years later guys he tells me he didn't tell me that year he didn't tell me the next year he didn't tell me the next year after that he waited three years to tell me he was the one that snitched so yeah mm. <sighs> i thought he was supposed to be the homie too you know what i'm saying but he snitched on me. So yeah, guys, that's my story. That's the worst whipping I ever got in my life. <laughs> but yeah, um. So yeah, guys, that's story time. Leave it in the comments if y'all want more of this. So yeah, guys, if you if y'all enjoyed that video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And peace.